Hey guys, we're back with another Goodwill bins haul. I know you guys are a little tired of these, but we're going to venture to some other things. But today there is a bins haul and I am Dr. Kenesha, pharmacist by day and reseller by night. And yes, eBay is my main bay. Y'all, I am so tired. <laughs> I worked this morning and woke up at 5 a.m. and doing all the things at the hospital, guys. So if I haven't said, wash your hands, wear your mask, do all the things, because I read an article recently that said that this Delta variant was spreading like chicken pox. That is frightening. And what we're seeing in the hospital is everything. The numbers have literally like went from two to almost 40 and I just, it's a lot. So wash your hands, wear your mask, do anything you can. I would stay out of the big groups for a while to see if we can get some things calmed down. Um, <laughs> and funny, I'm saying all that and I was at the bins today. So today might be my last day at the bins for a while. So which means I might be getting boxes from ThreadUp instead. So it means that I can stay out of those big groups as well because I shouldn't really be hanging out either even though I am vaccinated, right? Because we know vaccinated people can get COVID. Okay, so we're gonna start with a brief story time. So I went to the bins, I got a jankity cart again. <laughs> well, besides the point, so I talked to my friend that's always there, right? That's the guy I always tell you guys about there. He's there every day. He's gotta make six figures, like for real, because he's there every day, all day. I said, okay, tell me, how was the last three days? And he's like, oh, horrible, in his um, accent. and. I was like, okay. He's like, like nothing, like nothing. He's like the people who I guess, and he's like, there is a disparity, he says, right? Cause he's like, which is true, right? There are the rich, there are the middle class, there are, you know, people below middle class there, right? There's a disparity in that, but also just, I guess he was trying to make a point, right? The point really was is that the quote unquote rich people can't, donate all of their $3,000 shirts all the time, right? And I'm like, okay, that's true. But I guess the bigger thing was, is that to take the good with the bad, which I think was the biggest lesson for me today, because I'm thinking that makes total sense. Just in life, right? To really be involved in your own journey, because there's going to be waves. It's going to be this cycle right? It's kind of how COVID is moving, right? It's in this cycle of, okay, a holiday comes, the kids go back to school. Okay, two weeks later, there's a spike. Oh, and then the next holiday comes and then there's a spike, right? So things go in cycles. Our finances go in cycles. Our relationships go in cycles. Friendships and romantic relationships and things that happen at work, it all goes in cycles and waves. And sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not. And so it's like important that we take a little bit of that good mix it with a little bit of that bad and find some kind of harmonious balance in our lives because otherwise sometimes the lows become too low if that makes sense or the highs become too high if that makes any sense so I guess I was just sitting there thinking about what he was saying thinking the good with the bad the good with the bad you know and like work it's bad right now it's bad but for a while it was it was good. You know what I mean? And so the more we acknowledge that we have to take a little bit of each and put them in the pot of this journey and this life and your life, it becomes easier to deal with. And I think a lot of us have to be better at dealing with our stress, dealing with our anxiety, dealing with our low lows and our high highs. Like we have to be better. You know, I and today it was funny because I like, um, huh, now I like to not get emotional. Um, at work, I was just, you know, kind of thanking my coworkers for helping me out during a time that I didn't have, um, there was a text that came through, but I didn't have someone else helping me on my shift. And I was thanking them for, you know, coming in on the weekends and staying late and doing all the things. And it made me emotional because it's just like, there's so much going on, you know, and you just really want to be appreciative and accept the good with the bad and them 
being able to help and actually helping was a good thing. And so I just like, you have to be able to feel the feels and be okay. So, eh, it's been five minutes already. We should get into the haul, guys. So I don't know, hopefully you got something from that because it did. it's still sitting with me and it, it sat with me when he said, you know, you gotta take the, the good with the good and the bad with the, the good and all of that stuff, you know? And I just, it had me thinking. And he even said like too, cause I was thinking like, so I'm like, you still have to buy something, right? You know, in regards to reselling. And he's like, and I'm like, so I really shouldn't be as picky. And he's like, he's like, exactly. He's like, if you're super picky when there's not much, you won't walk out anything with anything. He's like, you really just want to say, okay, I'm going to still turn a profit, which is easy to do when you buy items for $2. So it's like, even though it's not really great, right? Or it's con considered bad. It's been three bad days there's still a silver lining. There's still something good to come from it. But we can take that and use that in our lives too, right? There's still something good or a silver lining to come from our relationships. There's still some silver lining and good to come from our finances or our jobs or, you know, there's still something to be grateful and thankful for. So let's get into the haul. Sorry to get a little deep. Hopefully things made sense. Hold on. <laughs> All right, so just a few items that I found actually, because mm, I don't know if he's, I guess he's right. I would say that it wasn't like the best of days at the bins, let's say, but I was kind of sluggish. I was tired. I was kind of dragging myself around the bins, but I was able to make it to the bins. You know, I made it to work in one piece, made it to the bins in one piece, made it to take, to do this video in one piece. So and I mean, there were some struggles at work, a lot of them, <laughs> but it's like, there's all of these silver linings and beautiful things that were still beautiful about the day. So this was a really cute off the shoulder, burnt orange shirt. You see these cute little ties? It's a tunic style shirt, beautiful fall color. Do plus B, size medium. I just thought it was really cute. Great with some nice slacks, chocolate slacks or black slacks. I just thought it would be really cute. Mm, this one, oh God, y'all, I was trying so hard. I'm like, okay, I might have to venture and try some different brands because I was digging and there wasn't much down there. <laughs> Morgan Taylor Intimate. So this is like a floral robe, large, extra large. Comps were pretty good. They were over $20 and it had the tie in the back there, as you can see that. So nice long robe, looks like it goes right below the knee. So that's that. This won't take very long today. This one was new with tags, so I was excited to find something new with tags. Uh, looks like Ella Moss, a size medium. It's actually like a colored knit vest. I just thought it was cute. And then the comps came up around uh, $22, $24. So I was like, why not? And it's like, he gave me the heads up to, to search. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna really put in the effort to search even though I'm so tired. <laughs> Um, Gaium, I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's like a nice um, athletic yoga brand. I'm actually not sure what size it is. I'll have to look it up. Mm, I would probably say large to extra large. It's super soft, so it's a gray mock neck, like um, corset. So really great for just, you know, throwing those leggings or throwing those jeans, nice for hiking and walking, that good stuff. Throw on a Saturday morning to go watch the kids play baseball, soccer, all that good stuff. This one I thought was really cute. Threadborn. It looks like Under Armour, extra large. This color is similar to the another seafoam workout um, shirt, seafoam green workout shirt. You see, you can even see that little pattern in there. So it's really nice. High low. So I'm assuming that it's a woman's shirt, I think. 
catching some little deviations in the material. That's okay. It's all in good shape. I don't find many of these. I usually find tons of Nike golf polos in all different colors. I've sold them in sets of three for 30 bucks and I've sold them individually. So this is an Adidas golf shirt. And so they sold for about, and so about $22 or so. And so I thought it was really nice. It's in great shape. So I thought, why not? And a lot have sold in the last 90 days. So the big things that you want to look for. So typing like the color and the having good keywords when you're searching for the item to see has it sold. And so you type that in and then you um, go to the, I guess, do you call them features or can't, oh, filters, go to the filters and then you put in, you slide over to like completed and sold items. And so it'll sell, it'll tell you what did that item sell for and what date did it sell on. So then that means that you can see, okay, has this item sold in the last 90 days? How much did it sell for? And are you okay with that price that it sold for? Because more than likely it'll be somewhere around there. Okay, I think we're actually almost done. A few other, I found these, I guess for myself, considering I didn't even look at the size before buying them. Yeah, I don't know why. But anyways, I got home and I'm like, oh, okay, great. Well, um, so women's size six to 10. So high heel relief insoles. And I'm like, Dr. Scholl's. And I was like, okay, in brand new condition. And I'm like, I could always use some of these. I have some that are like a half where they just do the toe. So I don't know, I'm like, maybe the full foot will be better. I don't know, it cost me like nothing. So I was like, oh, maybe I can check them out. And then if I can't use them, maybe my mom or sister will use them. Because I try not to buy hard goods because I do not sell hard goods, nor do I have anywhere to put said hard goods, okay? Even though I secretly kind of want to. <laughs> okay, this last one, I just thought this was so cute. Oh, actually, it's a wristlet. Okay, I thought that this was um, a full-length um, crossbody. Guess it's not, but it's cute anyways. So this cute little wristlet, gold, and it's got this, like, velvet feel to it, this tassel with this gold hoop, and I'm like, I don't even know where we're going yet, guys. Since this Delta variant spreads like chicken pox, I'm just like, wow. But someday we're going to leave the house again, okay? And it says this is an Ion Color Brilliance Holiday Clutch. And I was able to find it on eBay. And one, a few of them sold for about $20, $22. And I'm thinking, why not? Because it's something, you know, you can literally just, it's in perfect condition. So you literally just throw your few little items in and it's a neutral color. And like, shoot, it's almost to the point where I would want to keep it, right? And such a beautiful color too, right? With a little shine on it. And then just a little wristlet. Pick up and go. So that's it actually. So I want to thank you guys for joining me and my beginning babbling. Hopefully you guys got something out of that. I hope. <laughs> Basically just to take the good with the bad. And I guess that's a chance to give you like a, a little blurb to say that if you need help and need someone to talk to you have to reach out to someone you know someone you can trust someone you are able to talk to you know because i'm in the hospital we're seeing a lot of scary things you know people are scared people are anxious people are not sure if they want the vaccine their 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 families are sick they can only have a certain amount of visitors in the hospital it's just it's maddening really you know and people we don't know how to deal with our stress. We don't know how to deal with our, our anxiety, you know? And we're just so, if you need to talk to somebody, talk to somebody. If you need to, cause I'm like, there's, I guess those are maybe some tips or things that I can say to you guys too, along with this bins haul, <laughs> is that reach out to people and talk with them. You know, if you can, maybe you need to spend time with one other person at least, where, you know, you see them, there's somebody you can confide in, there's somebody you can just, be in company with you know somebody who cares and loves loves you and um for me i know a lot of the times mine is you know who do you get support from so support from my family support from you know friends support from co-workers and it's 
a lot of things solely to how you care for yourself when you're by yourself, right? Do I, I walk a lot. I will literally go outside and walk around the hospital during my lunch, even if it's only for 12 minutes, 12 minutes and 30 seconds. I will go outside, I will breathe, I will get the fresh air, the sun, and I will walk and get the exercise, breathe. I, I end up talking to myself. I probably look like a Looney Tune. But that's another way of getting a little bit of exercise, sun, fresh air. Um, and then I um, meditate or just really just breathing, deep breathing in the quiet of your home, you know, or the quiet of wherever, in your car. You just take a few moments to breathe, breathe from your, because I'm actually, I'm, I'm secretly a yoga teacher. I am. So breathe from your diaphragm where you're filling up your belly. And you can breathe out of your mouth, you can breathe out of your nose, whatever is most comfortable. But this really brings down, you know, your heart rate. And then also, of course, like if you inhale and hold for eight seconds, count for eight seconds, and then breathe out slowly for eight seconds, you reduce your heart rate a little bit, you know. And then doing stretching, I stretch down twice a day, stretch in the morning before I leave just to loosen up the muscles and bringing your head below your heart will really bring down a lot of your stress and a lot of the tension you hold in your shoulders and in your lower back. Um, so yes, so yoga, this, doing the stretches, all those things that really just make your body feel good. Because when your body starts to feel good, you can really start worrying, or I guess, focusing on making your mind follow suit. You know, because if we're holding the tension in all of the places and our brain is everywhere and thinking about all the things that are going on in the world, it's a lot to handle. And it's okay to cry, people, okay? I did today, so it's okay to cry. I am, they call me sprinkler because I just sometimes cry for what seems like no reason, but I guess I feel all the feels of the world. So if you're anything like me, then, you know, it's okay to self choose self-care choose you and choose to find someone to talk to or do whatever you have to do for yourself. So take care of yourself, guys. I've been babbling now and I'm off my soapbox. <laughs> Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.